guys and girls what is going on thank you so much for coming back to check out the channel i am here once again with uh some tips for uh, those of you who are still looking for an xbox series x ps5 series s i do want to say uh, thank you so much for everybody who's been subbing and following me on twitter also subbing to the channel and the likes i appreciate each and every one of you at the end of the video the last tip i'm gonna have might be a little bit of uh, controversial for some uh, Twitter users out there and I do not mean to step on anybody's toes in case you are an owner of an affiliate link but I am the last tip that I'm gonna offer in this video does involve affiliate links I'm just talking from an experience that I had I'm gonna mention that and it's actually something that worked for me and how I got my PS5 recently but I'm gonna share that experience with you by the end of the video some really quick tips though I want to share uh, with you guys let's uh, get right into it each website like I'm gonna use Target as an example but each website like the major retailers like Best Buy and Walmart have the ability to be able to for you to create a list for an example here for Target if we look down here I have the PlayStation 5 favorite it okay so it's that little heart you can also do this on the app uh, you favorite the item in question so if you're looking for the ps5 you know make sure to favorite it and if you go up to your accounts and you go to favorites you'll see that it is uh, right here ready so it's not in stock right now it's not in stock right now you're gonna see a link that says check stores if this is available in your area it's going to have an add to cart button so this add to cart button obviously is not going to appear if it's not in stock however once you know and once you get alerted, you know, using one of the many methods that I've talked to you guys about in my previous videos, once you use your method of getting alerted, you know, whether it be someone you're following on Twitter, whether it be an app that you're using, once you get that notification that this item is in stock, you want to go back to your list. And like I said, this could be for Target, this could be for Best Buy. The uh, Add to Cart button will flash red uh, as soon as it is available. And I've seen a lot of people on Twitter have success using this method, having a favorites list beforehand, getting alerted that the item in question is in, and then they go back to their favorites tab and they add it to the cart that way. Now, when it comes to getting, uh, trying to get a PS5 through the Sony Direct website, I found, uh, I'm speaking from experience, I had the queue opened up in various windows. I recommend if you go that route and use two different browsers make sure that you check in every once in a while because one of the screens actually got me out of the queue and I was in the queue waiting and I was focusing on one browser and my other browser actually got signed out and I was uh, having to go through the captcha again took me back to the back of the line so I recommend if you're gonna be using two browsers keep checking on both to make sure that it does not sign you out or kick you out of the queue. Or my final tip, this is the one I was telling you that I hope it doesn't rub pe some people the wrong way in case uh, one of you out there has an affiliate link. I'm not trying to say that they don't work because many people have uh, said that they were uh, successful in using an affiliate link to get a console. But many Twitter users are tweeting out, especially Twitter users that have a lot of followers, more than likely what they're sharing when uh, inventory goes up for sale is an affiliate link. I've noticed that a lot of times when affiliate links get shared or they get tweeted out, sometimes there's more than one link and that one specific link might only be for maybe one of the bundles that the retailer is selling and might be only for one of the options that the retailer has up. Uh, I succeeded in getting a bundle from a PS5 bundle from GameStop. I tried to think back at what I did differently this time around to actually be able to get a system. I usually relied on affiliate links and those links, if you buy through them, you know, the person who tweets them out or shares the link will get a little bit of profit from the sale. It's worked for a lot of people. It's worked for a lot of people. So don't get me wrong. If it's worked for you, that's awesome. I'm just sharing with you my personal experience. I decided not to use an affiliate link and instead I directly went to the website as soon as I got alerted. If you have been unsuccessful using one of these affiliate links that are being shared, as soon as you get alerted from like a Twitter user of your choice or an app that you like using, uh, an app that alerts you really quick, try going to the website directly instead of clicking on the link that's provided. If you create a wish list, like I was letting you guys know how to do that here, you can have it ready in your cart. As soon as you get that alert, 
go to uh let's say target target's website sign in go to your favorites and add to cart try it that way see if it if you're successful doing it that way rather than having to rely on affiliate links i don't know why it worked for me i can't say for sure why but this time around i was able to do it and the one thing i did differently was i didn't use an affiliate link so guys and girls those are the tips i can share with you today please leave a like and a sub if you enjoyed this content if it helps you in any way at all let me know in the comments down below what you think any other tips you can share with us for getting a ps5 or a series x before the holiday season and without much else left to say you guys uh, good luck to everybody i'm sending my most positive uh, vibes and energy as much as i can to you guys and with that stay safe stay awesome you're cool